Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about the end of a scenario, which is the questionnaire, how to trigger, first of all, how to trigger the end of a scenario, uh, bring player to the question that they have to answer, and then how to enter the end of the solution and the explanation of the story. So first of all, we need a place where people can give their report. Um, typically is done in the base game by having a Scott Lyard uh, location so I'm gonna go get Scott Lyard uh, looking for Scott Lyard here we go Scott Lyard and I'm gonna call it uh, police station um, in order for this place to become a place where you can give a report you go into his open state and you select the special action uh, finish scenario okay and this will add the button basically uh, close the case this means actually so it means that you can actually add this close the case button to any location you want in any specific state you want okay but here it says basically Scott Lawyard will have always this finish scenario I'm also gonna go and make sure that this Scott Lawyard is open by default and um, in the scenario settings, I want to make sure that actually we start in the police station. All right. So the uh, the end of the the end of the game configuration is in this scenario setting and configuration tab. Okay. Um, okay. The the top things here are literally this. This is the final solution. So this text shows up only once you have answered every question. You've uh, read an ending, how oh, it's called outro text, you've seen your result, and then you have the show me the solution text, and this will be the solution. Here is what really happened. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you also have here the uh, answer you that uh, something that you should show if someone get a mandatory question bad. Um, yeah. Sorry, uh, it looks like you are missing something. Come back. Uh, or maybe like something that would say, uh, I don't believe in your theory, agent, come back with a better answer. All right, so those are like kind of um, generic thing. Uh, we're gonna start with questions. So there you have this add question button that you can add as many questions as you want. Uh, question is either mandatory or optional. So let's say that it's optional. And I'm going to say, where did uh, Mary die? Um, and I'm going to add an answer to this question. I would say that a good answer will be the victim's apartment. That's, that's a good card to answer. Um, but as you can see, it is possible to give multiple answer if you think some are, multiple answer are valid. You could just say that, well, this is, this is this will be worth ten points, and actually, if you give the daughter's apartment because actually maybe already she really died there and she moved her there, uh, then that's twenty point because it's kind of a more accurate answer. Maybe I don't know, but just to show that you can show multiple things, then you can make a mandatory question like uh, what was used to kill Mary. And uh, obviously the right answer will be the knife in this, which maybe we could say was 20 points. What it would do is that if the player does not answer knife, then it will be ejected of this with this visual, uh, with this text here, okay? So now we have our two uh, questions. Uh, we can add an ending. So the you can have actually multiple ending based on the type of answer that we got. For example, if we say, that uh, the answer that we got was victim's apartment uh, and here it doesn't matter uh, actually let's say actually that it's a daughter's apartment so that's it's really really where it happened um, and we c we can do some extra check we, we can say also that the knife was found and that collect was in a cooperative mode then uh, this will trigger um, you figured it all out, officer. Uh, Mary, blah, 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 blah. But you can also have another ending that says, no matter what here, what happened, if you didn't find the knife, 
then uh, you almost got it but without the the murder weapon okay so that's that's how you can have different kind of different set of endings based on different conditions finally there is one uh, optional scoring you can have for example if a certain object is in a certain state so let's say for example we want to give uh, if we manage to turn call it cooperative then maybe we have another 10 points and this is what will be shown on the score so it's like uh, Colette admitted so you can basically add and you can add as many kind of optional scoring uh, that are that are not based on scanning something correctly but rather having done something correctly during the investigation at the end you need to pick what's the default ending and I think we're ready to try this I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna click play I'm gonna click start so we start in Scotland Yard which is what we wanted to do next so we're gonna go to South Bank to the victim we're gonna scan the victim yeah this is the victim's buddy we heard her daughter lives in Greenwich great so we're gonna go in Greenwich we're gonna scan her daughter hi what do you want well I want to talk about your mom what my mom is dead I want to talk about this kitchen with your DNA what okay I will tell the truth and then I want to talk about your mom again I admit I was mad at her okay so now I'm gonna go back to Scotland Yard and uh, you see the finish iris button is well present as we configured so I'm gonna click on it where did Mary die? So I'm gonna scan Greenwich. What was used to kill Mary? The knife. You almost got it, but without the murder weapon. Ah yeah, because we never found the weather and we used it, but it's technically still instead not found because we did not scan it uh on the crime scene. And so the what we see here is actually the logic of what it should be. Next. Oh, no, I think that's actually sorry that's where that's where the simulation stops here yep so hopefully that was useful thank you so much guys